I'm Helen Meredith, and I'm the founder and the president of United Pegasus Foundation. Um, it was founded in 1994, and since I've been working with racehorses, thoroughbreds, all my life, um, I thought that they deserved a second chance at life after they finished their, uh, with their careers, and so that's why I founded this foundation. And many of these horses here are older now and retired, and uh, a lot of them have won lots of money. And I came to the United States in uh, 89, and in 90 I happened to be watching the television when they did a segment on the horse um, slaughter industry. And that's when I learned how many of these uh, thoroughbred race horses, once their careers were done, that uh, they were just uh, being sent to feedlots and slaughtered and mainly exported overseas because that's where they eat them in France, in Japan, Belgium, Italy. They're the major consumers uh, of horse meat. Um, obviously, um, mainly performance horses, that's what they kind of like on their dinner plates because they've been grain fed since they were very young. I've had such a great experience all my life with uh, the thoroughbreds. Uh, I've probably ridden some of the best thoroughbreds in the world in my younger days, and I just uh, couldn't believe that this was what was happening to them. So uh, over the years, we've helped uh, numerous racehorses off the track. Uh, the ones that we could, we did the rehabilitation and adopted them out to go on to a second career and the other ones uh, just stayed with us um, and were retired here. Out of all these uh, wonderful racehorses that uh, come off the track, and many of them that have won uh, lots of money and have made the, the industry proud and pulled in uh, a tremendous amount of money, you would think that uh, the owners, the breeders, jockeys, trainers, uh, even the public from the that go and gamble on all these horses, that they would uh, support and donate towards these horses at the end of their career. And unfortunately, uh, all of the horses that we have here at the ranch uh, are supported by the general public that had nothing to do with them um, on the racetrack. And it, that's very, very sad to, to think that um, there, there wouldn't be a racing industry without these noble creatures and nobody would be making any money uh, off of them if it hadn't been for them. And yet they're always at the bottom of the top.